As North Carolina undergoes a statewide stay-at-home order, people are looking for answers to when this pandemic may end. From WREL News and the Capital Broadcasting Podcast Network, this is your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, March 30th, 2020. I'm Cliff Bumgardner. Here's the latest from WREL.com. Today, state epidemiologist Dr. Zach Moore cautioned that COVID-19 cases in North Carolina are expected to rise. According to Moore, as more people are tested, cases will continue to increase quickly in the state and across the country. So as far as where we're at, uh, you know, I I think the bad news, we have to acknowledge that we're just at the beginning um, and that every indication is that, you know, this is really ramping up now and we're in what we would call the uh, acceleration phase of the pandemic here in North Carolina. So um, we certainly have not peaked. Moore's comments align with a projection by the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, an independent population health research center, whose data shows the need for coronavirus care in North Carolina will not peak until the middle of April. As of recording, at least 1,300 people in North Carolina have tested positive for COVID-19. Governor Roy Cooper has announced the first payments for unemployment claims related to coronavirus will begin going out this week. He said the state has received 270,000 unemployment claims in the last two weeks alone. In comparison, the state received about 7,500 claims in the first two weeks of March before restrictions were put in place. Last week, the United States Congress approved an unprecedented relief package, which is poised to send money to most Americans to help people survive financially in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The health crisis has evolved into an economic crisis as businesses and schools shut down to slow the spread of the virus. As the coronavirus pandemic continues to evolve each day, at WRL, our job of keeping you informed has never been more important. So if you want the latest, check out our live newscasts, which are available for free every single day, no subscription required. To watch, just go to WRL.com or download the WRL streaming channel on Roku, Fire TV, Apple TV, or Samsung Connected TVs, so you can stay informed and stay safe. More state parks are closing as the statewide stay-at-home order takes effect. Under Governor Roy Cooper's order, which goes into effect tonight at 5 p.m., people are still allowed to enjoy trails and greenways as long as they practice social distancing. However, North Carolina has already closed 25 parks because of continued overcrowding that makes social distancing almost impossible. Over the weekend, closures were announced at Cliffs of Noose State Park in Wayne County and Carver's Creek in Cumberland County, as well as William B. Umstead State Park in Raleigh and Eno River State Park in Durham. A full list of closings can be found at WREL.com. With restaurants limited to takeout and delivery across the state, local owners are finding it difficult to stay in business. Today, Chef Gray Brooks, who owns Pizzeria Toro, Littler, and Jack Tar in Durham, spoke to WREL about the challenges he and his employees face during the pandemic. Two of our restaurants, uh, Littler and Jack Tar, are both essentially closed for business. Um, we're doing curbside pickup at Pizzeria Toro. And that's, you know, with limited hours and, a, and the current environment, it's nowhere near the revenue we, we normally do. Brooks said that while revenue has dropped significantly, so far he's been able to keep some employees on his payroll and continue paying for his company's health care program. Additionally, three days a week, Brooks offers family-style meals for his staff. He's also selling fresh dairy, produce, and meats at a cheaper price since he gets them wholesale and can pass the savings on to his employees. If you want to know how you can help local restaurants in your area, go to WREL.com and search Support Local. There you'll find an up-to-date list of restaurants offering takeout, curbside, and delivery options, and information on how you can donate to the North Carolina Restaurant Workers Relief Fund, which is providing support to people struggling throughout the hospitality industry. This has been your Coronavirus North Carolina News Brief for Monday, March 30th, 2020. If you're enjoying the information you get from this podcast, then please consider giving us a rating and a review on whatever podcast app you use. Plus, while you're there, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss our new episodes, which are posted every day before 5 p.m. Thanks for listening.